A flag flies at half-staff at the Monroe Correctional Facility as a sign of mourning and respect for 34-year-old Jamie Bendel, who was found dead in the prison's chapel Saturday evening. She had been strangled with a microphone cord. A beautiful young woman has been murdered. She was a sweetheart. I don't know what to say. The suspect in the killing is Byron Scherf, a violent offender and medium security inmate at the facility who is currently serving a life sentence for rape and kidnapping. He was reported missing during a routine count Saturday evening and was found several minutes later in the chapel lobby. The offender indicated that he was thinking about escaping or attempting to escape, so they apprehended the offender. Prison officials say Scherf was a volunteer worker in the chapel where Bendel led religious programs. She joined the state's corrections department nine years ago. Her boyfriend spoke to reporters but didn't want to be identified. Total rage. Total rage. I'd like five minutes with the inmate. A union spokeswoman says Bendel had complained to prison supervisors that she was worried about working alone in the chapel. And we've been um, complaining to the department about the safety of our members who work inside these prisons uh, with all the budget cuts and the staff reductions. It's, you know, it, it's dangerous. And I kept pleading with her to try and get somebody else out there, try and get somebody else stationed with her. But the prison superintendent says brutality is to blame, not budget cuts. There are many locations within prisons where a single officer provides the, you know, the, dir the direct constant supervision, then you provide intermittent supervision with other officers that move in and out of the area. Corrections officials say Bindel was carrying a two-way radio with a silent alarm, but there's no indication she triggered it. The state's governor wants a complete review of the incident. As for Scherf, he's been placed in maximum security and the facility remains locked down. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.